Yo, it's your host who's hyped the most, Chaos Gamer here, and yes, we are back with some more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, and in today's video, after eight months, we finally get to showcase a brand new Koski Bakugo, so with that being said, let's not waste any more time, let's blow this shit right the hell up, and ladies and gentlemen, let us get started with today's video. Now, you guys can let me know down below your personal experience using this Bakugo, is he at that top tier level, or is he really F for you? Which, to me, look, let's be honest, I don't even care if he's eh, I'm still going to be using this character a lot. So, let's start off by looking at this character's skills and seeing what he's able to accomplish in the game. And once we do, we will playtest them in all the content that there is for now. Now, I want to say this as well before we do, that on Friday, we should be getting the new Climax Battle, or Thursday, one of those two days. So, until then, we'll keep Bakugo's, like, level. We'll see, we'll see how it's going to fare out, because right now, they're, like, the content in the game besides Ultra Arena is eh. But once we go up against Climax Battle, that's going to be where we really test him at that ultimate PvE level. That, that's where we got to see if he's going to be good or not. So, hopefully he impresses me there. So, let's start with his plus ultra move, which is going to be the Flash Impact. Deal 700% damage to a single opponent. When character has the ability to overwhelm, this skill gains piercing shot and increases character's critical hit rate by 30%. Now, for those of you that don't know what overwhelm means, overwhelm is where if the opponent has more buffs than you do, you get basically a big boost in power and a big boost in defense as well. Now, I do have it on the side just in case I am probably wrong with that, but I've used my personal Bakugo so many times that I got that memorized in my head what overwhelm is. And again, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That's why I always have like the, the description of what the skills actually do just in case, if, you know, I don't say it correctly. Next, we have the first action skill, which is going to be the Crash Burst, which deals 300% damage to all opponents with a medium chance of blinding them for three turns and blocking their buffs for one turn. The cooldown is for four turns. So what this Bakugo introduces in the game is the brand new ability to be blocking opponent buff, which to me sounds crazy. And I'll explain to you guys how this basically is going to be working. So what this does is that let's say your opponent on the next turn is getting a buff. If you activate this action skill right here, you can stop that opponent from getting that buff and it makes it to where they have to wait until the next turn to activate that once again. But, let me say it like this, right? Let's say it's an action skill, right? They gotta wait like three turns or four turns just to try to activate that action skill again. So you're stopping them from getting something that's a necessity to them, which is absolutely insane to me, man. Insane that Bakugo is able to do that. Next, we have the second action skill, which is going to be the Explosive Speed Turbo, which deals 400% damage to a single opponent and blocks their buffs for two turns. So we see again where he's blocking the buffs, but this time it's for two turns. This would have been cracked if it was on all opponents, but, you know, they had to limit my boy by making it only one opponent. Uh, increase character skill pack by 10% for 10 turns when using a successfully executed skill chain, and then increases character's plus ultra gauge by 30% when used in a second or later successfully executed skill chain. The cooldown is for 4 turns. So, if you guys notice that the 10% that he's getting on character skill pack lasts for 10 turns, is that with that, you could basically stack it until like, what, 60% I think, and then it's gonna go back down? I could be wrong on the math here, but I think it's like 60 or 70% you could stack that. So your action skills are going to be hitting so hard later on in the battle. If anything, it copies from his predecessor, the Anniversary Bakugo, where he's also stacking in power and critical hit rate, but not as much, you know, as that Anniversary Bakugo, because he doesn't like basically infinitely going crazy with it. This one, once it's 10 turns, is going to be where he goes down a little bit. Nothing crazy, I feel like, but he's going to go down a little bit. Alright, so we have our first action skill, which is going to be Daredevil, gives character the ability to overwhelm for two turns, up to one time, gives character the ability to overwhelm for three turns, every three turns, and when character has the ability to overwhelm, increases character skill impact by 10% for 10 turns, and critical hit rate by 10% for 10 turns, and I hope I didn't say action skill, uh, auto skill, the first auto skill. So what we see is that at the start of the battle, he's able to get two turns of overwhelm. Once that is over, he's getting another overwhelm that lasts for three turns every three turns. That's so confusing. I hate when they put the passive like that because it makes it to where I can fuck up and stutter. But basically, you can stack this up to 20% for both the skill impact and the critical hit rate. I don't know if it's going to go higher once you do get to that sixth turn. And then it goes up to 20%. 20% we'll have to see how that works in game. So what we're going to have to look out for is overwhelm once, overwhelm twice. And then see from there how it's going to work out. And then the second auto skill which is going to be high pride. When character has the ability to overwhelm. 
increases character speed by 40% and critical resistance by 40%. So that right there is crazy that he is getting that 40% in speed because that makes it to where he is valuable in PvP and that he's not slow. He has speed to back it up to where he can activate this first action skill right here of blocking the opponent's buff. And you have dupes of him as well. I feel like he should be a highly considerate character that you take on PvP just to try out to see how crazy those buffs will be. But let's take him now into our first piece of content which is going to be the VE Tower. So we'll be right back with that ready to go. Alright guys, so here we are with VE Tower going up against All Might. Now there is a reason why we are going up against All Might instead of, you know, the typical type advantage level 100 stages. And that is because of the fact that the other SS stage that we are able to take on that's green and that's level 100 is Bakugo. But sadly, this Bakugo that we have gets a boost in there by 30% in power. So I didn't want to showcase there because he's getting an extra boost in stats and I don't need that. I want to see his natural stats as we are going into a fight. So we decided to take on the green Dobby stage. As you guys are seeing in the background right now, we are taking on the green Dobby stage. But we cooked that man so fast that it was just like, what? I I could barely see what I'm trying to do with this Bakugo. Mind you, it does show the overall aspect of what Bakugo is able to accomplish, which is doing damage and blocking the opponent's buff. But I wanted to showcase him a little bit more longer. So we're going to go into this VE Tower stage while the other one is playing at 2 times speed, just so you guys can see. And this is the team that we are going to be bringing. I brought the Aizawa just to have the defensive drop and make Bakugo hit even harder. But for the first part, we're just going to do let Bakugo do his natural damage. And then we have the Uraka to do the action skill cooldown time. Alright, oh my, let's go. Let me show them why this guy right here is the number one hero. Now. Not you anymore. Alright, so let's start by activating this right here. We'll activate this, and then we'll activate this right here. Now, oh my, gets bind absolutely perfect. Yep, he gets bind. That's what we love to see. Okay, so now we can start doing this right here for 22k. And his buffs are now blocked for two turns. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We are going to make it to where we can block his buff another turn right here. So we're going to activate this right here, and then we're going to activate this. And let's see how much damage he's able to do. Okay, so he did 5,000 four times. So that's around like 10k-ish, 15k-ish. So we'll take that right there. Now we have his plus ultra, so let's start activating that right here. Okay, so he got his defense up right now. But let's see if Baku can go through that. Come on, Baku. Let him know, let him know, let him know. 999 off rip. That's what we love to see, folks. With the built up of power and the built up of critical hit rate. Oh, what happened, buddy? Oh, he has his defense drop? You're making it easier for me? Oh, buddy, you shouldn't have. Oh, my God. Listen, you should have not done that. So now we're going to do this. And then we're going to activate this for 47k. And he's getting no buffs at all. We should be seeing that effect pop up, right? Okay, we don't see the effect pop up at all. So I'm going to wait an extra turn. All right, let's see what happens now. No buffs, right? Yep, no buffs at all. And then now is where he's going to be supposedly getting his buffs this turn. But we're going to be blocking this man for free. Okay, actually, let's do this right here because I do have the first anniversary for him. I bind them once again. Got the dodge. And how much damage? 26k. Oh my god. We went from 5,000 to 26k. Isn't that... That's just absolutely insane to me. What the hell? Yo, this Bakugo is going crazy right now. Whoa, buddy. Relax. Okay, so wait. We'll do this right here. And then we'll activate Bakugos on the next turn due to the fact that I want the defensive drop and I want him to hit even harder. If anything, he could finish... Actually, no. I don't think he's going to finish him off this turn. No, because no matter what, he's going to do 999. Might as well do this. Oh, he did 65k. Never mind. Oh, that's my bad for underestimating him. Damn. Or overestimating him. That's what I meant to say. All right. So we'll just wrap it up right here. Hit him with this. And then hit him with this. That did... How much did that do? Like 77k? What the hell? Oh my god. Now this box is absolutely insane. Alright, so now let's move on to our next piece of content, which is going to be the US Demo. So we'll be right back with that mode ready to go. Alright guys, so here we are with our next event, the US Demo taking on Gran Torino himself. And this is the team that we are going to be bringing up against that man. Okay, why the hell did it do this? Why, uh, now I have to scroll all the way up. I hate when I have to do that. Alright, so yeah, this team is going to be absolutely busted against this man right here. If anything, I feel like this team is going to go crazy when we get that new Climax battle as well. Despise the other two. The, the, those other two do not exist in the back. We're focusing on the main three right here. So let's get started with the fight and let's see how we are going to go. I was going to bring the new support memory here, but I feel like, you know, speed and critical hit rate don't really matter against this type of fight right here when we know for sure we're cooking no matter what. And we don't need that extra damage because Bakugou could do it no matter what. Alright, so let's start by doing this right here. Okay, uh, can we start? Thank you. Alright, let's start by doing this right here. 
And I know some people are gonna go crazy like, whoa, why is Midoriya the second skill chain, not the third skill chain? Again, I have the anniversary support memory on Bakugo, and that who is the main showcase unit we are trying to show here. If that makes sense, I feel like my whole stuttering just died there. Okay, so let's start by doing this. Yeah, we activate this, and the Bakugo is doing 77k off rip. Of course. With these bosses, they're just super easy, so they're gonna be taking a lot of damage. Oh, ah, I messed up! Ah, I messed up, my bad. I didn't, make, I didn't mean to make it go first, that was stupid. Oh my god, 32k? Jesus Christ. Oh, brother, get some help. This man hasn't done anything in three turns. Oh, no. And then he's gonna get hit for 999. Yeah, 999 off rip. And then we got our girl giving the defensive drop. And then Midoriya hitting 999 as well with the stun as well. Oh, I think this old man's time is up. But damn, we could have had actual skill cooldown time right here. If anything, you know what? This is perfect because it delays the fight even further. Actually, hey, old man, do what you gotta do, bro. Do what you gotta do. I'm gonna let you fight as much as you can, and then once I get my access skills, you are good for it. Oh, brother, double attack. You really think that's gonna work against me, buddy? Please ask yourself that before you die. You really think that's gonna work against me? Okay, so activate this right here. We'll activate this. And then we'll get that nice 79k once again with the defensive block as well. Nothing's gonna happen right there to the fact that his buff did get blocked. Now we'll activate it like how it's supposed to be, but damn, he's gonna get close. Will Madoya? No, 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 no. Madoya's not gonna kill him at all. I doubt the Uraka as well. Okay, so 99, 85k, and then with the AoE, he should be dead. Mink, and that's it. We wrap it up like Chef to flip. Oh my god, I'm loving this Bakugo, man. I am absolutely loving him. But now, this is where he has to prove himself. One of the most hardest content in the game, which is Ultra Arena. Let's see how this man is going to fare up against that. So we'll be right back with that mode ready to go. All right, guys, so here we are with our first match in Ultra Arena. Now, I think this is a very good team to go up against because if we go first and we block both the Eda buff and the uh, Meteor buff, we're going to be chilling for free. Now, I feel like I should have gave Uraraka more of a speed support memory, but for now, we'll just rock with that and we'll see how it goes from there. And I also get back to go the new support memory that he has. Which increases character's critical hit rate by 30% when character has the ability to overwhelm, which you'll get at the beginning of the battle. And then increases character speed by 20% if there are any UA high teachers on the team. After character initiates one critical hit attack, wait, no, after character initiates critical hit attacks three times, then he's able to cancel one temporary buffs of all opponents up to two times. Now, if anything, would you say this is crazy? No, I wouldn't say this is crazy until it's maxed out. That's when this gets good. If anything, you could equip a support memory like this one right here, and I think it'll be infinitely better because you are getting 30% speed and 30% skill impact, which is definitely what you want on the character. But I just want to see how this new support memory is going to rock. So why not go up against this team right here and see how it is going to fare? Now, hopefully, that since he does have lower power, that means that he is slower as well. That's what I'm praying for right now, that he is slower. Okay, so they have all their buffs right now at the beginning of the battle. And what's crazy too, what I feel like is going to happen that's crack, is that if you pair him with the anniversary Uraka, one, she's going to be removing buffs, and two, he's going to be blocking buffs. So it's like, what can the enemy do? Tell, tell me, what can the enemy do? Oh, we have it. Oh my god, we have it. This is insane. Oh, this is about to go crazy. Okay, so we activate this right here. So we block that buffs, and then bam, we remove that buffs. Oh my god. Alright, so she should activate that right here. Alright, here's 7,000. Luckily, we got the Eda stun, so he is not getting that speed buff this turn. Uh, now we can start by doing this, this, and then we'll do this right here. And I, okay, we can't do that. Damn it, I want to attack the Eda, because he's going to be annoying once he gets the speed buff up. Alright, nice. And is he dead? No, he's not dead, because he has a stupid persistence buff. So he's going to be alive for another two turns. But I don't think he's going to be bothering us in any way. Okay, so 24k. The only reason why he's doing that much damage, again, is that his persistence is up now. So we have to wait the two turns. And once that is gone, we're going to be cooking for free. Okay, so Ida activated that. His speed is up right now. Now, hopefully, Uraka can stun. I'm begging. Please stun, stun, stun. No, I forgot she can't stun because of damn Haro. She has the ability to nullify status ailments. Damn it. That's my bad right there. Okay, but so far, we are good. We can do this. We'll activate this. And then we'll activate this right here. They should be dead this turn. Actually, what I want to do... Should we activate her second and then this third? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll activate that. Okay, nice. Dead. And then dead. Nice. That's what we love to see, folks. Okay, so far we're still cooking. That's what we love to see. His buffs are blocked. Not anymore, though, sadly. But guess what? He's going to get his buffs blocked again. That's what we love to see. 
Alright, so activate this. We'll attack the Eda. Get rid of him as well. At right, 31k, nice. 29k. She should be dead. Yes, she's dead. Alright, now we have the stupid Aizawa. We removed our buff, sadly, but that doesn't really mean anything to the go. Baku go. Alright, so we'll activate this and we'll activate this. Um hmm, actually, let's do that. Yeah, let's activate all three of them. I don't think Oraka's gonna one shot like that. I think he's gonna be on red HP. Red HP? Oraka, please don't crit. Never mind. Damn it. Oh, I should have just activated with Baku go. Oraka, man. The other one. But as you guys can see, the potential with this team is going to be absolutely crazy. We can even pair this man up with a character that has nullified status ailment to ensure that he is not going to get hit with any debuff that stands in his way like um, paralysis or bind or fear. He's just going to be chilling no matter what. But let's head into another match of PvP and find a good team that we can go up against. What is a crazy team? Alright guys, so I'm starting to feel a little bit wild right here. And I want to go up against this oh team right here. God. So can we clutch it up and come out on top? That is what we are here to find out. And as uh, I'm stuttering like crazy. As you guys can see right here, I did give Bakugo the support memory that I was talking about earlier. To where we can increase his speed by 30%. To make it to where he can be going faster. Hopefully it's faster than this team right here. I'm praying. I need it. I need it. I need it. If we don't, we lose frame 1. I just feel like if he binds us, we'll cook for free. Okay, so one, two, three. We are not faster. Damn it. Ah, no, 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 no. And this is my final attempt to. Damn it. I should have never felt wild. That is my bad. Okay, nobody got. Okay, they got. Alright, so we can set up right here. Alright, let's do that. We'll do that. Okay, you see, I actually messed up right there. I was supposed to activate the other buff first and then this one. But now we know that Compress is not getting any buffs until the next turn. Alright, let's start activating these. Oh! We're faster now! Yes! Let's go! That's what I like to see! Okay, now let's start going crazy. Alright, activate this. Block the buffs for everybody for one turn. Get the extra damage on him. And then get our access good cooldown time reduced. Nice, nice. Alright, so now she's gonna hit Waraka. That's not gonna do anything. He is not getting any of the buffs active on them at all, so we're chilling. Oh my god, this character is insane. I already have a title as well. This character is a beast. Okay, so now we lowered the speed, so we are faster. The only one that is going to be probably faster, though, is the Midoriya, due to the fact that he is using an action skill. But besides that, we are chilling. Now we'll do this. Bakugo, go ahead and pop off. Show us how much damage you're going to do against him. 27k, and he is dead. I right, know. Please stun. Please. Uh, wait, no. Kirishima took a stun, right? Oh, no, damn it. I thought the Kirishima could get stunned, if anything. Alright, so we got the Whiplash now. Who's she gonna be hitting? Okay, she hits the Compress, and Compress is confused, sadly. Damn it, that does suck right there, because they are gonna be faster if all the action skills are back. Actually, no, they're not. Okay, so if anything, we can do this. We are faster, so we're gonna be debuffing the Kirishima. If anything, making sure no buff comes to him at all. Perfect. Get this. No stun. Okay, damn it. Okay, so they're not getting buffs from it. And he's. Okay, what? Where, why are you getting buffed? It's probably from the support members. Okay, now we can do this, this, and we'll do this right here. We are going to be lowering the power. That is a good thing. Again, blocking their buffs for one turn. All of them. Nice. And then hit the Kirishima for 12k. Perfect, perfect. Okay, we are still in this battle. I'm still scared how this can turn out. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not anymore. Okay, maybe not anymore. But look, he doesn't have the counter. He doesn't have his counter because he's getting no bumps at all. Oh. oh, this is amazing. This is the character I've been waiting for. The one that can cook Kirishima for free. Okay, now stun, 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 stun. Yes, we get the stun. Oh my god, this is an insane day, ladies and gentlemen. Insane, if I may repeat myself. Oh my god. Alright, so the Bakugo we don't gotta worry about right now due to the fact that he is not getting any power unless he is activating his next action skill because he is stacking power. Alright, so we hit him. That's 20 to K. Get the both of them. And GG's! Oh my god! Yes! They made this Bakugo cry! Let's go! Oh my god, what a time to be alive, man. I feel like Gojo when he was spinning to Todo. Or told you. I, I don't remember how his name is, but when he was spitting to him, that's how I feel right now. I have found enlightenment. So now let's go back into the home screen and let's go talk about my boy Bakugo. Even though you guys already know the answer to what I'm going to be saying. So ladies and gentlemen, what are my overall thoughts about this Bakugo right here? My thoughts is that he's absolutely amazing. Jesus Christ. What well, solidified my opinion 
was when we went up against that Kirishima and Kirishima couldn't counter and he wasn't getting any of those bumps at all to help him survive so he had no choice but to get cooked for free and I'll tell you guys this right now my arch nemesis in this game is that damn Kirishima so now that I have a counter to that it's over that's it the Kirishima meta for me died it's it's cooking season for that man so yeah, overall, this character is absolutely amazing. If you thought summoning for him, go ahead and summon for him, even though there is the Momo banner that is going to be coming up this week as well. But again, man, if you're a Bakugo fan, they absolutely killed this character right here. So before we end off today's video, we are going to be doing a single on the banner and see if we can pull our second copy of Bakugo. Now, if you are wondering why there is no summoning video for this Bakugo, I would highly suggest checking out the previous video to this one, and you'll understand the reasoning why I couldn't have a summoning video up for the Bakugo. And it was just absolutely sad, man. I'm not gonna lie. That was absolutely depressing, man. I couldn't use, I mean, I couldn't show the summons for the brand new Bakugo. But, hey, you know what? Maybe if I get 5,000 gems before the banner leaves, which is when I'm going to see. Let's, let, let's see when the banner leaves. It should be October, right? That's when he goes away. Let's see, let's see. Yes, October 1st. Because last year, on October 1st, that is when we got the Black Whip Midoriya. So he's going to be on that same scheduling as well, where he's going to be leaving on October 1st. And that's when we should be seeing our brand new character. So if I get over 5,000 gems again, I will be summoning on the Bakugo banner once again and see if I can pull my second copy. I won't be going too deep into it. I'll probably do like 1,500 gems, 1,000 gems, and we'll see from there. So with that, that's where we end today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I sure the hell did. Be sure to like and comment if you want to. You don't have to. Always appreciate it. And with that, folks, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace. Don't worry. This Bakugo is going to be on this team for a very long time. If anything, I could say for a fact that he does replace the old Bakugo just due to the fact that he just has a lot more stuff going in his kit than the old Bakugo. Or he's just helping out a lot more than the old Bakugo is besides the damage. So with that, I'll see ya when I see ya. Peace!